So, like I said, you're still watching Prime Morning. We have a great conversation coming your way. My name is Rosalyn Belly. And you know, gospel music is something that we all love to hear. Over the period, it has, it has actually evolved. You know, uh, things have changed, times have changed. The video that you just watched, Apostle Lenny Akpadi, uh, who actually came out with this song. And those days, you know, it wasn't all about the glam. When you're putting out the song, you're putting out the content, what you use to win souls for Christ. And when you have, you know, your backup dances and all of that, it's still not about the fashion. It's about the message. Uh, but it looks like things have changed. Is it because of how people are seeing things? Is it because of the internet? Oh, it's just, you know, things have just changed, so you go with the flow. Well, Apostle is here, and he's here to help us have this conversation. I mean, talking about gospel music, is it growing better? Or why is it a little bit? Hello, Apostle. Hi. How are you? I'm good, by grace. I, I, when was the last time you released this song? Because it's like, it's been a while. Oh, just last year. Oh, just last year. Yes, but, but it's, not, it's not getting the exposure like before things are more a little more expensive yeah what's making expensive as you compare now to then you know then tv stations were, were fewer okay so if you choose one or two by all means they'll watch it but now they're numerous and they are picking and choosing so you may go here and they are there and so you have to be here and there and it's costing more Okay. Yeah, okay. It's costing more to be here, 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 here. And social media is there, and it makes it a bit simple, right? It doesn't really, because I was on social media last year, mm -hmm. but it didn't go. Oh, why well, you didn't get involved in the challenges that people do? You pay the, you know, TikTokers and influencers, and then they maybe play. that's what I didn't know. Okay. Uh, so, so you're, you're helping me today. Okay. And and maybe you have you have a link. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do exactly. about that. Exactly. And joining us on phone is Madame Diana Hopstead. Hello, Auntie D. Hello. Okay, I think that, again, you know, because of the rains, the networks are a little bit funny. And so we'll definitely get back online with Auntie. Hello, Auntie Diana. Yes. Can you hear oh, great. I can hear you now. How are you? I'm doing great. You yourself? We are blessed as well in the studios. How we wish you were here today to have a conversation with us. But it's still fine. We'll still do justice via phone. Hello? Myself, but I had to be on the phone. So. That's fine. It's understandable. Great. I'll definitely come back to you to ask you some questions. But I want to start the conversation from the studio. As you know, Apostle is seated already. Now, Apostle... You were talking about how, you know, times have changed, especially looking at money. Yeah. It's a cost now yeah. to promote your song yeah. as, you know, in the past. Uh, yes. So in the past, when you release your song, how are you promoting it? Uh, like I said, the TV stations were fewer. That's it? Yeah, so you put it one, two, you, you are... In fact, most high God got, got the hits from one TV station. Which one was it? Sorry? What, which station? Metro TV. Metro, okay. Good. So after that... I'm able to gather some more money. So I was able to go to TV3. Okay. And basically these two TV stations. But now you are here. Mm -hmm. Joy News is there. Adome is there. Just here we have three. Yeah. And all will take money. They will not even say, oh, this man has been there. He's paid his dues. You, are, you understand what I'm saying? And they, they want the money. Unfortunately, I think that you should be able to be a little softer on mm -hmm. those of us who have paid their dues. <laughs> You have, the to, years. you have to pay the workers. Oh, no, the, years. <laughs> no, the, the younger ones are coming, so you can take from them. Okay. And and and, and be a little softer on the legends. Okay. Like like Dinah as well. And, and yourself. Let, let me celebrate Dinah. <laughs> sure. Because when I started, mm -hmm. is it, your introduction was was is apt. When I started, Dinah was my guest of honor. It's amazing when I saw the the, the, the flyer. flyer. I said, this is prophetic. Hmm. Dinah was my guest of honor right in home. And she came from Accra to home. No money was spoken about. Just the work of God. I wonder how much I even gave it. I was, you understand. 
And which, she, year, which year was this? That's 99. 99. Yes, okay. 1999. Mm. So I need to celebrate Diana. And Diana was on tour by that time. Right. And so uh, that connection, mm -hmm. you know, if you walk with the wise, you become wise. Mm -hmm. So that connection brought me gradually to the top in 2007. That's about eight, eight, eight years after. Oh, so you started 99? Yes, that's where. And started. you got to the top eight years after? Yes, you got to the very top because uh, 2005, mm -hmm. we were taxing. We were taxing, you know. Okay. That's when we got to Accra. Okay. So it was more of evangelism. Uh, from Jerusalem mm -hmm. to Samaria mm -hmm. to Judea to the ends of the world. So you started from Ho. Ho. So I, I, I got to hold there. What, what job were you doing at that time? I'm a teacher. A teacher, okay. Yes, Maoli school. Okay. Maoli school. So from Ho, you came to Accra? No, so from Ho, mm. then we were growing little. I got down the next album, 2001. I, I rose up 2003. Then 2005, I got introduced to Accra. Mm -hmm. Then that song was Greater Things. Okay. Unto the Lord be the, the glory. glory. Great things he, he has done. done. Unto the, the Lord be the, the glory. So we said, great things he has done. Did you write the song yourself? No. Okay. Greater things he, he will do. do. So we're fired up that great things he has done, and he would surely undo him himself. Mm -hmm. So the greater things was the introduction to Accra and his environs. So by 2007, this one blasted. Mm. It, it pleased God. To send it abroad. I'll come back to you and ask you a few questions, but let me go speak to Auntie Diana as well. Auntie Diana, some of us, when you started, I think we're still in our parents' room because we are 25 years. If I do 30 years below, still don't know. They still don't know you. That's so true. And, uh, you know, you have been consistent all these years. Let's talk about when you started. What got you into the gospel music industry in the first place? Actually, I really got in because we realized that anytime I see people enjoy it and I could tell the Lord I mm. want more. So we tell, why don't we put this on a medium that people can enjoy wherever they are? Okay. So that it will not just be at a gathering or at church. That was the Hmm. Alice, and, then, and then you got a very big break. The song that you got a break with is We na We na We na We na Jesus is the We na We na Ah Jesus is the We na I say We na Aha Please go ahead Yeah <laughs> Yeah Oh, my darling, Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. Mm -hmm. That same album had way boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-bo
might be a little outmoded or a little sound different in the ears of the current people because probably you are doing the songs that were a hit back then and you are delivering the same thing now. No, we, we, we're delivering even better. Mm. But you can have a good stuff. If it's not promoted, nobody will know you. So, Dana was talking about then. You see, the, the advantage then, you see, then I was my own executive producer mm -hmm. and, and everything. So, we'll talk about the, the days of selling cassettes. I'm not sure they know what, is, what cassettes mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Good. So, she made a point that, I mean, there was a rippling effect in Cantamanto. Right. So, because you have your cassettes there, they are buying it, you go get the money, then you can push it back, push it back. Okay. very well. As compared to this one I did last year, digitally, I have not gotten it. Uh, but, but you're saying digitalization. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, let me disappoint you. Uh, the digitalization didn't digitalize. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, let me ask you this. So, since last year, mm -hmm. I have not gotten anything from, from the digital market. Oh, wow. So you see, as compared to then, you get the rippling effect in the market. You get the market, you, you push it back, you get it, and you, you appreciate people who are helping you, you understand. Then it gets going. She talked about only GTV. So appearing on GTV is appearing to the whole guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So would you then say that the gospel music industry is growing or the fire is dying? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's growing and the fire is dying. Oh, both? Yes. How? Because now I see that uh, when they organize programs, they even monetize it and people attend. So that one is growing. Is it good? Yes, it's good. It's good. To have a gospel program and monetize it. And monetize it, yeah, okay. it's good. Mm -hmm. Because it costs a great deal to put gadgets together. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing. Okay. So it's good. It's good. Would that you do the same very soon? If I get the opportunity, uh, but, but not, not, not immediately. I don't have it now, okay. I, I, must, I must admit. Okay. So if I get it, it should be. You see, then it makes people appreciate that everything should not be free. Because salvation is free, but Jesus paid for it. So when you get something free, somebody has paid for it. Mm. So it can start free, but it's being paid for by somebody. So at a point, you must also come in and also pay something. But you see, the fire, there's the, what I call the uh, canalization of the music, of the gospel. Canalization? Yes. What is making it canal? It's been canalized. How? You see, the, the, the aura, the dressing, the overdressing. The overdressing is, is canalizing the thing. Are you, you see, so your attention is on the dress the ladies are wearing more than the message because it's so fashionable, it's so attractive that you are, you are looking at how they are moving themselves and you have lost the message. But the purpose of it is to evangelize Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, one who was and is and is to come. So we are getting less and less of spiritualized sheep mm. doing the gospel music and we are introducing the world that is the carnality of the dressing the dressing and everything All right. they are showing their cleavages and stuff like that cleavage in gospel music you haven't seen no, it before I okay what, what, which gospel musician did that? <laughs> i i think i've seen a cleavage of uh, of uh, this lady uh, the one who, who was campaigning for award last year. Who? That's canalization. Who, 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 which one is it? She uh, came with a cool song. I forgot her name momentarily. Last year, last year. Is it PAC Esther? Esther. Oh, she's Esther. Esther. I've seen her cleavage even in pictures. Oh, really? And campaigning for awards is canalization. It's canality. But you see, um, I'll come back to you and ask you some questions. Very well. Or maybe I should ask you. Auntie D, I'll come back to you very soon, okay? Let me ask a Apostle with regards to the whole cleavage thing. Yeah. Probably I haven't seen it. Yeah. And I don't know how many people have seen it because yeah. maybe you have seen it. I have. Seen I have. It. You have seen yes. cleavage. 
But campaigning for our ward, there's nothing wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it. How is everything? Why should I even, in the first place, pay votes to, to be awarded? Mm. Work hard for it. Yes, so I should be rewarded and awarded. Mm. I should not, uh, it should not be monetized, as far as I'm concerned. But you have won some awards from people. I, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, really? I'm telling you, anybody can just put me on the spot. When you were nominated, you had nothing to do with it? I had nothing to do with voting here and there, nothing. You see, that Most High God was so ubiquitous, eh? widely dispersed by the Holy Ghost. So you couldn't touch it. You couldn't touch it. Because we were, we were singing about the Most High God. And he took the, the, the center stage to show that he's the Most High God. So it was the, the song of the year, what we are calling the most popular song of the year. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with it. I don't see why you should award me. I should pay for the award. Then, then I'm excited. But the vote, I don't know how you pay. Who pays for it? But your, the vote, your fans are the ones voting. So, so your so, fans voted for you at that time. The fans can vote. But the point I'm making is that I am campaigning for it. I am oh, campaigning. So you mean the campaign is where the problem is? The, the campaign is where the problem is. And even the voting. Because even the voting, you are still campaigning for people to vote for you. But the voting, there, you too, they voted for you. No problem. I, I, I don't even know about it. Okay. Because our time, it was not as, as, as serious as today. Okay. Yes. Let me go to Auntie Diana. Auntie Diana. Let me first come uh, Lenny and greet him. Honestly, Lenny, hello, Apostle. So hello, nice. hello. It's been a long time. Yeah, I, I celebrated. Did you hear me? Thank you. That's why I'm mentioning now. Okay, okay. okay. But, but that, that was very good. In fact, you brought memory to me. I had forgotten about that. <laughs> oh, okay. But, Back in 99. Yes. You know, in, in our days when we did the kids, there was a few of us. Mm. And you can see the whole land. So actually, I pray that all people... And so when up and coming friends invited me, I was really excited. And I don't just go. I go praying that they will do. I, just, I go praying that they will even do more than the Lord has done. That they can also take some of their invitations. Because you are in Tamil, and two days you have to be in uh, uh, Bulga, and then you have to be in the Volga region, and you have to be in Sunani, and it's the same weekend. But in those days, I was praying to have an aeroplane. <laughs> 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 there was no private, um, um, you know, air, air flight. So it was a, a, a soldier's flight that sometimes you get to go. And I thank the officers in those days who like make group for some of us when we really needed to be at different places and had a road travel would be a hindrance, you know. Um, I, I will have to meet you soon, so maybe I will just pour my heart and then you will permit me to go it's back to what I actually nice. record a center we're doing a project. And, and so it has been really interesting. The change is very great, you know. It is now digitalized, and like uh, Lenny is saying, now it has come, like the market is big. The branding, the paraphernalia, of course, they are all part of the business. Sometimes we call it Minda. It's ministry and industry. Mm. So there are some industry demands that you can't know. And more so now that there are many in the system, that's what you, you recognize, and that is where comes um, a challenge. But like Lenny was saying, those days, the hits were just hits. You can't ignore because mm -hmm. the song up. And still today, we get some such hits. So if a song speaks for itself, don't need to come from a booth because it is everywhere. That is the issue. But if a song, though it's everywhere, the other songs who are also, you know, so that to show it, then come to get it. You know, and competition is competition. But as we need it, we must engage in LD competition. And like also, the digital market is a bit different. You don't get the money instantly, like like you used to get, like in our day. It trickles, and uh, the dynamic sense of that is, is totally different. 
at the moment I'm into publishing and I'm, I help a lot of who are not online yet to put their work on, also to pick the movement of the industry and welcome them into the fraternity. And so I'm um, happy this, today that we have this opportunity to talk about those days. I remember the first time I recorded in East Legon. East Legon was like uh, the outskirts nowhere at six to six. Uber would not even go. That was East Legon. Oh, wow. And yeah, the, the, the Accra Mall was just a big, a big runabout. Hmm. That was so sick. And so I've seen the city grow, I've seen um, the population double, and I must say glory to God for um, the industry still growing. I pray that the young musicians upcoming would seek for their own uh, great that will not compromise but live up to the tenets of Christendom, the tenets mm -hmm. of Christ. But do you think, Ati Diana, so far the crop of um, Christian gospel music being released they are actually sticking to the whole Christian dom, uh, you know, assets that you started. Well, the church itself has changed. You know, when we started, many churches didn't have auditorium. There were no documents. You know, when you have to mom our south and stuff like that. Now, every church, the church buildings we saw started, you know, raising funds to help it build their civil service, the auditorium. We now have good musical, good songs so that I enter that, and I'm so excited. But that also comes with some compromises. And I pray to our prayer, fasting, our host God, our holy living, our righteous living. Now, mm. you know, with Zoom, social media, you can have pornography right in your bed. It's the same, it's so good that you have to think now that you live right for the Lord. That you have to be thankful now that the Holy Spirit should work through you. And if we don't, and listen, because the thing is, now we have air conditioning. You can sleep in a cool room, so the heat will pull you out and start to rain. <laughs> we need to intentionally serve God and yeah. know who we are and know what Christ has done for us. Yeah, you know, in your earlier submission, you did mention that your prayer was that at, the, at that time, your prayer was that God will bring more musicians oh, into yeah. you know, the yeah. system. Are you yes. proud of the kind of musicians that we have in the gospel fraternity? Well, sometimes it's a bit disappointing. And that is why I've organized the Women in Gospel Music, the Christian Music Association, so that we can help guide more. They are to so no one will go wayward. So what can we do to get them? You have started, but aside that, what else can we do uh, to make sure that we have women or the men, because it's not even just about the women. The women and the men, you know, stay focused and not divert from what God has called them to do. I would say that Sister Credo should get more involved. And I must comment the um, ITG, um, Dr. Otabel, they have started a record label now. Harvest Chapel has also started a record label, you know, the EDO Ministry. So once it is down into, into recording some of these artists, they will not bring uh, money. I will encourage them to encourage the music to support them and guide them. Thank you. They are being but it should be taken Because if we don't stay, like you don't stay in a church to be pastor, you can go with what? Right. And so church should support and help so that we will use our gifts around. If it's there that way, way what? They can you know, correct us. And I will encourage the students to get involved in these associations. Of course, we do that there as a other umbrella, but we want to say these Christian organizations we are here to help each other, support each other, and make each other. All good. right. Thank you so much, Auntie Diana, for joining us. Thank this you. Yes, have let's, a have, let's have a great day. Yeah. I'm excited Thanks. to be on this uh, joy prime. <laughs> I encourage you all. I have a lot of new releases online. Okay. So, yeah, I have a letter. Just Google Diana Hobson. I have released Hope Volume 1 and Hope Volume 2. Okay. And a lot of things. Okay. So I'm still recording, so not okay. me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Officer Lenny, yeah, well. when Auntie B was saying that, you know, she's not too happy or too proud of the crop of yeah, that's Sam. It. That's it. Same thing with you. Yeah, Sam. Some are doing well. Some are not doing well.
So to you, who is doing well? Uh, ladies or guys? Ladies. Uh, in, in now? Yes, now. Yeah. I've, I've spoken against the campaign. Yes. It's, it's canality. Yes. So the campaign. You should not do it. So no, allow no God, campaign for allow God, Allow God to award you. Okay. That's what happened. That's what I'm saying that. I, I'm putting it on the spot. Somebody should tell me that. I voted this. Me. When I even got to the room, mm -hmm. I didn't know. I only had an invite to the, the, the show. Right. I didn't know what I was, I was getting. Okay. I didn't know. Seriously. I didn't know. I just sat there. Mm -hmm. and but times have changed. Yeah. And if times have changed... I appreciate it, the change of time. Yes. Yeah. It's only right that... You know, you go with the flow because no, you don't always like you don't that. always go with the flow, because you see, carnality is enmity to God. So when you import it into the church, you are an enemy of God. Mm. You cannot canalize it and still be anointed to deliver. You see, let's get it straight. There's a difference. Yes, you cannot mix the two. You cannot mix the two. You cannot get Gary and add so who is, sand sand to it. So who is not canal in the gospel music? For, for now, for now. I, I'm not getting it straight on. Yeah. It looks like almost all the ladies are canal. No, you see, you see, Gifty came here the last time. That's canality. Really? She's talking about her brand. So Gifty is canal? She's talking about her brand. Mm. But she's promoting herself. No problem. Yes. So that's promoting herself. But she can promote her work, right? Because you, you see, and yeah, there's, there's, a, there's an extent to promote your work. Because what you are looking for, God is looking for it for you more than you are yourself. Oh, right. He told Abraham. And what he told Abraham, he told us. He says, I will make your name great. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got to a point where I was, I was, I was down. Mm -hmm. It's like, what should be, should be. Mm -hmm. The most I got. Seriously. And, I was just sitting and watching TV, and I just saw God do his own thing. I saw God do his own thing purely. I had no hand in it. To God be the glory. You see, there's a point of promotion. But when you overdo it, you see, too much of everything is bad. But so she's having an event. Give T as an example. She's having an event. Yeah. She wants people to come and experience That's people. not what I'm talking about. Okay. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. You are getting that one wrong. Mm -hmm. She should come here and talk about the program. Okay. But she should preach Christ in that. So in, she doesn't preach. Christ. She should talk about Jesus Christ more. Okay. Coming to the place, having an encounter with the Holy Ghost. That is the message we are carrying in song. So what can we do to let Ghanaian gospel musicians not sway away from the main message? When, when the, the legends, like Diana was saying, mm -hmm. When we, you see, when we are not allowed to face out, it can help them. Otherwise, you see, even this LGBTQ mm -hmm. thing, I heard a, a, a gospel musician say that he's, he's neutral. He has nothing to say for now. I take my stand. I take my stand. What's your stand? My stand is that I'm against it because God is against it. The last time he went to set fire on Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. I am against it. And you know why they, they, they are not talking? I, I, I was asking the Holy Ghost. He said, they will travel outside. They want to go abroad and not be impeded. Instead of wanting to go above, mm -hmm. heaven above, mm -hmm. they, they prefer going abroad to going heaven above. We should prepare to go heaven above, mm -hmm. not abroad. So they are afraid that they, they, they will be impeded in that process. Mm -hmm. I stick my neck, out, my neck out as the servant of God. I am against it to the core because God is against it. Right. Whatever God is against, mm -hmm. I am against. Yeah, against. Apostle Lenny, I, I think that we have to bring you back to have more conversations because Thank you. I like the fact that you are standing your grounds and you are preaching the gospel of Christ. Thank you for being here today. We are grateful. Do you have an event coming Thank you up? for having me. Yes. Uh, no, I'm, I'm rather preparing for a live recording. Okay. So you see... So we'll bring you back again. So I'm flowing with the time. Yes. The, the live recording is coming more. Okay. So I'm flowing with it. I'm not stuck. Okay. So I know what I'm saying.
Uh-huh. And we'll get you here again. Uh-huh. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for and having we me. Are, we have been blessed today, I must say. And uh, we'll have to end this particular conversation. I know you were glued to your television set for that. But we are sorry. And uh, we want to say a very big thank you to you for sticking and staying with us throughout uh, this morning from 6 a.m. all the way till now. We actually have the Ghana Dance Ensemble National Theatre to end the whole show for us with a great performance. My name is Rosalind Feli. I didn't do this alone. I did this with Etie Dua Akomi. And don't forget that Big Chef cooking competition continues tomorrow. I'm sorry, Sunday, actually. Sunday at exactly 5.30 p.m. So don't miss it. But before